Official launch trailer. It's a minute and 45. Let me just look at this really fast. Hold on a second. Let me just look at this launch ass launch trailer. The highest budget fighting game ever made. Outside of potentially NRS games. Isn't that crazy? The battle to decide the ranks of the new world. Smash? No. No. Smash is not a super high budget game. Hmm. Another musical choice similar to the launch trailer that I I'm sorry, the live action trailer. And the fate that I don't know if I agree with. I'll give Kazuya a nice smack in the face. <laughs> a nice smack on the ass. Yeah, and this is like the fully, the full features, right? Let's just show everything that's in it. Show the Tekken balls. That didn't do much for me. That did not... That, that was a weird trailer. In my opinion, just for perspective, this shows off like mega story stuff, right? It focuses on story, story, and it's like, okay, sizzle reel of a little bit of gameplay because it's also, it's also a video game. Okay. Here's a gameplay sizzle. And then it goes back to story. So you're like, okay, so it's a launch trailer. It's going to be like a feature trailer, right? Now, launch trailers usually aren't like commercials. This is, dude, bro, this is, commercials are 20 to 30 seconds. This is a minute and a half of footage. So this is not a commercial. Um, and it's back to story, 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 story. And there's a weird spot where it's like, here's some characters. Here's an announcement of our characters. Okay. We see that. And the only other thing they announce is the online fight lounge. Which is like, okay, so we're going to go over the rest of the features of the game, like what's in it. And then it goes back to story stuff. Feels like we're sort of like, oh, we're going to show us what's in the game. And then it doesn't exactly do that. I feel like there would be some spots to also include things like character customization and tech and ball. I, I really do. And for the sake of, you know, this being, a, this being the trailer that's supposed to grab the casuals. Uh, it's got some keywords, but I feel like they, they miss the mark on a couple of the things that actually makes Tekken really popular. Yeah, additional modes type stuff. Let's see what the SF6 launch trailer looked like. I've crossed paths with many during my journey for true strength. I've also met my share of enemies. Opponents I had to overcome. My journey knows no end. I will continue to do what I have always done. When you said you were seeking strength, despite having no real need to do so, honestly, I thought you were a complete idiot. Masters, he was set up. I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. This already is doing stuff to me. A little bit. It's probably worth looking into this. Just the way we're like introducing characters and shit. That power seemed to be the Satsui no Hado. Was it simply a trick of the senses? Bison, he attempted to set the world under his heel through violence. A veritable madman. When you go looking for strength, I got goosebumps. It's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. I got goosebumps. There you go.
I've seen plenty of this game. I got goosebumps. So anyway, it's a good trailer. There was a good moment. There was like a, a really sick like drop. It was like, all right. Is, is it the hypest thing in the world? No, but it, it did enough to make like the game look really in enticing. This is mostly just a world tour trailer for sure. It's weird, man. Launch trailers or close to launch trailers are weird. You have to like have this balance of showing off as much as you possibly can. You know, let's look at the MK1 launch trailer. Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time. I was yeah, free this one's big. Four goddamn minutes. That's what I mean. Launch trailers are usually like, hey, here's all the shit in our game, dude. Is it so wrong to want some excitement? The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and Outworld. All the, the only point of this chat, all we're trying to make is that uh, marketing is hard. Uh, trying to make your game look appealing, even if it's, you know, potentially not, is also a, a big goal when it comes to this stuff. But in the same way, like fighting game marketing is also really hard just because how do you want to market your game? Do you want to market it as like a big competitive esports game? Do you want to focus on story? Do you want to focus on content? Do you want to focus on the mechanics of the game? There's a lot to judge and balance here because, you know, ultimately every, most people's experience when it comes to like single player games or even multiplayer games might be kind of similar, but with a fighting game, no, there are expectations and demands to consumers that are much different than usual other titles, right? Where it's like, yeah, some people are in it just for this. And then some people are in it just for that. And some people are in it just to dress everyone like, up like a Barbie, you know? Like, that, there is, weirdly, for fighting games, a lot of ways you could sort of spin the marketing for it. It has begun. Oh, this is good. Showing all the uniqueness of the gameplay over here. This this stuff is good. Hopefully I'm prepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Showing the uniqueness of the gameplay here. Yeah. Get some bone crushing, yeah. Oh God, from the combo everybody hates. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. And I think the music's a good fit here too. It's generic trailer music for sure, but it's a good fit. Two Johnnies, one timeline. Man, this has mega hit written all over it. This is a good launch trailer. This is making this game look pretty amazing, dude. And now we're gonna go over, yeah, yeah, all, all the single player stuff, okay. Goofy mode shit. There will be spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. I will aid you. If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Yeah. This game is looking pretty amazing from this trailer, dude. And here's the thing, it's like from from the sake of for the sake of what MK1 is, uh, ultimately a game that very much disappoints its audience at launch, right? Like that's kind of the challenge of MK1 is that when this game comes out, it has significant problems in comparison to MK11. And it, this is known now. This is not an argument anymore. Uh, this is a, a a situation that is present where we can go back and look at this and see how the game is essentially marketed and to see what the game eventually ends up being, right? And just for the fact of like the way their marketing, WB marketing is big and expensive and you kind of feel that because goddamn, this game looks amazing from this shit. Shift. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. I found my destiny. 
Yeah, it's just got great moments. Slow down the beat, bring it up again. Let's get some cool ass combat and, and, and like gameplay action to music. This is a really good trailer. And it's not out yet, but which game might actually be the most feature rich and have the most quote unquote content? It's the trailer that didn't effectively show it all off. It's Tekken. To be completely honest, it's not Street Fighter 6, it's actually Tekken. Dude, say Street Fighter 6, but no, dude, For in, in reality, unless shit is just removed from the game from the previous builds we checked out, uh, Tekken 8 has almost everything, right? It's, it's really wild, unless some of it just doesn't work, and that could happen, right? By the time it comes out, that could happen. But the stuff that is in 8, is, and to show off most of it, maybe they were like daunted, like, oh, there's just too much in this game to show. So that's the challenge here, is that Tekken 8's trailer sort of gave an impression that, oh, it might not have as much as, you know, some of these other games. As somebody that has made fighting game trailers for, you know, fighting for a fighting game that had not a lot of content at the start and then eventually got a whole bunch of it, there were big challenges in like, okay, so how do we show people what's in this shit now? Like, what do we, how do we do like a sizzle reel of everything that's in the game. It's challenging, man. It's weird. And this is just the, the, the three big ones, right? The three latest ones that we're looking at. That if we want to do it again, bro, <laughs> do we just want to go to like, you know, and this is unfucking fair. The, to gra granted, we're here again, and this shit is unfair. Because regardless of what you feel about MK11, uh, you have arguably the greatest fighting game trailer ever made. Let's just watch it again. Let's just, just watch it again largely piloted by its music. Also, I would argue the music choices in the Street Fighter trailer, the Tekken trailer, and the Mortal Kombat 1 trailer are all pretty, pretty safe, right? N none of the music in any of those trailers is trying to do anything for me, really. It's just carrying the action and just moving forward a little bit. Well, this one was like, no, no, no. Our trailers need to be carried from music right and that i completely agree with that shit music needs to be the driving factor of your trailer everything else goes with it so is it possible that the past and future are colliding only chronica has such power i intend to restart history let the new era begin Yeah, I mean, people uh, people are in, in the chat quite literally saying, this is the trailer that got me to play this game, right? Yeah. Well, we're in the shit now. I know, I know shit think this trailer is individually responsible for like a couple million units sold. I've said this several times. We must find Kronika's keep and strike it as hard and as fast as we can muster. We defend Kronika as she rewrites history. yippee ki -yay, right? Jesus Christ. I have goosebumps. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. That game's gonna be fucking amazing. I don't care what you say. This game's been out and I don't like it. Game's fucking amazing. It's gaslighting me again. I wanna go play it now.